Hey guys, and welcome to another video. And it's been a while. It's been a minute since I've been on my channel. I posted my four-day Vision Expo, um, whatever. It's not a trilogy. It's four. So whatever that is, a quadrily. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyways, I posted that and then before that it had been about a month since I'd posted a video and I apologize. I've just been super duper busy and um, so here I am. So I wanted to post this video because as you all know Halloween is coming up in a little over a week. One of the main things that people do or think to do is Halloween contacts. Now I'm not wearing any and I don't have any to show you today unfortunately, but I wanted to talk to you about some of the different kinds that are out there and what you should do and not do when getting Halloween contacts. So let's jump right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing that people wonder is, what if I've never worn contacts before? How do I get Halloween contacts? Can't I just go online and buy some? Or can't I just get them at the department store that sells them? The answer is, yeah, you can, but don't. <laughs> um, I am an optician, obviously, as you've seen through my videos in the past. And as an optician, I understand the um, F. FDA regulations as far as contact lenses being a medical device. So medical device means that it um, can have negative effects on you if not handled and used properly, just like medications, uh, prescription medication versus prescription contacts. They are kind of hand in hand the same. If you wear a contact lens too long, you don't clean it properly, or you um, wear one that doesn't fit your eye properly, it can cause serious damage to your eyes. So I don't want to get too into the technical terms for the things that can go wrong, but if you overwear contacts or wear ones that don't fit properly, you can damage the eye. So please don't. Um, the best way to get Halloween contacts that are correct for you is to go to your local optometrist, your eye doctor. For me, I looked at getting some contact lenses for this video specifically from the eye doctor and for me it was too expensive. And it is true, it is expensive. They are not cheap. Even the ones you order online can be about $50 a pair and it's not a cheap accessory for your, for your costume. So if you are wanting contacts, that first step is to go to your eye doctor. Now it being only a week in advance most doctors, this is just my guess, but at least on my end, this is what I know, most doctors are not going to be able to get you in fast enough to not only, if you, especially if you've never worn contacts, but not only to train you, but to order those contact lenses in and make sure they fit right and so forth. So if you are here now and have never worn contacts, it's probably too late and I apologize. I should have put this video out at the beginning of the month so that you would know that you'd need more time. But uh, if you have worn contacts, you may possibly have enough time to get some before Halloween. So these are the steps. If you wear contacts, you need to contact the doctor that gave you your contact lens prescription and see what their process is. Sometimes they're still going to have a fitting process because it's a different type of lens that you've never worn before. Sometimes because it is kind of a one-time wear and throw it away situation, they will just prescribe you, prescribe, again, it's a medical device, it is a prescription, they will prescribe you that specific lens that you want, order it in for you if you want, and hopefully they can get it to you in time for Halloween. Um, they also, depending on the company and depending on who they work with, may be able to just prescribe it to you and you can look at ordering it from somewhere else. I always like to advise you to order from your doctor just because it keeps your business local with them and supports your local optometrist. But if you need to, in this case particular, need to get something super fast and maybe online can get it and your doctor cannot, um, get it prescribed to you from your doctor 
and then find out if you can order it online. So the brand that my company works with um, is called Gothica. I'll put the brand up here. And so you can kind of take that as a guide. Um, I'll show a couple of pictures here of the different kinds of lenses that they offer. Um, <clears throat> and this brand is trusted by doctors for this particular instance of Halloween contacts. They're not meant for every day, but they do come in prescription, they come in non-prescription, and there's lots of different options, so they're really, really, really cool. Um, I think Halloween contacts can just make a look and finish a look. Um, I've worn contacts, um, colored contacts, just for fun, um, and with my dark brown eyes, it's really hard for a colored contacts to colored contact to show up and those I'm speaking of are just regular colored contacts like trying to make my eyes green or blue or so forth and it's just because they're not solid of um, a solid enough color to not show my brown through so it's really hard to see the color but obviously Halloween contacts are like hand painted sometimes and it's very very solid colors um, looking through them is not always the best because you'll see the color around your vision and so forth. But yeah, this long-winded way of saying con Halloween contacts are definitely kind of like a one-time or just for that time of the season use and then throw it away. Don't save it for the next year. That's the other piece of advice that I'd like to share with you. Don't save those contacts for an entire year and try to use them next year in your costume. They expire just like medications expire. Your, your contact lenses do expire. And this is in regards to all contacts. This is not just Halloween contacts. All contacts expire. So please throw them away after you use them for Halloween for maybe that month. Usually contacts are good for maybe a, a month, maybe two. Um, I, I just want to go over a couple of cool designs that they have um, from Gothica. The first one being the complete whiteout. Um, lens it completely whites out your vision this is not a lens that is recommended to drive in at all you get about 80% vision out of it um, so yeah it's definitely not good if you watch um, Mikey on her um, glam and gore channel she wears these in one of her recent videos where she's doing her makeup her SF makeup in haunted places she puts on the wide out lenses I'll show a picture here of her um, and she mentions in the video that she can't see anything <laughs> she can't even see her hand about you know arm's length away from her face so be aware of that when you get colored contacts the vision may not be the best obviously the wide out one's not going to be the best because you're whiting out your vision. There's also another one, this one here, that has, it's white, but then it has a bunch of holes in it. Again, that one's going to really affect your vision. So be aware of that when you're picking out your Halloween contacts, that your vision is going to be a little bit different than normal. Um, even the regular ones, such as this one, regular I say, but I mean regular in the sense of it's just colored where your iris is colored, um, but a different color like red or something. <clears throat> those ones can still affect your vision when you move your eyes around you might catch the color look you know in your peripheral vision so be aware of that I hope this video was helpful for you guys it was kind of short to the point I hope that um, this isn't too short a notice and disappointing for those that wanted to really get some colored contacts for Halloween just be careful make sure you go to your doctor and make sure you take care of them. Throw them away when you're done. Don't try to save them for a year and use them next time. Um, but if you have any questions about Halloween contacts, hit me up in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button um, so you can keep up on all my latest videos. Stay tuned. I'm hoping to get back on track with doing a video, one video per week, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!